everybody to take a seat. Thank you. Bhagwan Sri Bhavi Swami ke charno me vandan, Acharya Sri ke charno me vandan, and respected Sam Vandana Ji, Samni Ji. Thank you for a wonderful discourse. It takes us one step at a time for us to take towards the path of liberation. So thank you very much for being a guiding force and a guiding light for us and helping us you know, in this particular nine, eight or nine auspicious days for a wonderful you know, nirjra of, of all of us, helping us to shed, as they say, the house is made one brick at a time. Similarly, our path to moksha is made one brick at a time. So these particular nine days, whatever bhav you have come here with, is anumodna ke patra hai uske liye. And we are so blessed, you know, for yesterday we did anumodna of all the tapasvis in uh, at JVB and you know as much as we can do uh, Anubodhana to uh, Smita uh, uh, Bipin Bhai here and every other tapasvis who are doing in and around London it's it's less actually uh, you know personally I'm not able to do so but you know I can only Anubodhana and ask Sata for everyone who is able to do so uh, Om Arham to everyone Om Now uh, we do have lunch or uh, uh, will be served after the program so please do not leave Without uh, having lunch, you know, we made lo a lot of preparation. So, uh, please grace us uh, for the uh, for the lunch as well. Now, you know, while I was coming today, you know, I had a story which started running in my mind, and I thought I'd probably share this particular story with you with Agya from Samniji. I'll take probably two extra minutes today. You now, we would have heard about. Uh, Subhum Chakravarti. I don't know any, how many of you would have heard about Subhum Chakravarti. Uh, in the Jain Itihas, the story goes like this. He got a thought in his mind. How did this thought come? Maybe Samniji will take a lecture the other day. That this particular world is not enough for me. I need to conquer many other worlds. And he was Chakravarti. He had powers to command 64,000 gods. That's 64,000 gods he could command there. Uh, uh, he would uh, follow his orders. So he obviously asked uh, them to make a big enough vessel or a ship, we could say, where he could carry you know, all his uh, uh, army and those 64,000 gods could make his particular vessel fly across the oceans and he could conquer the other worlds. So he thought, I'm Chakravarti, I'm the most powerful, so I will do that. So when he, he, everything went as per the plan, you know, we are very good at project management. He was also good at project management. He had a great Senapati who organized everything for him. His army, horses, uh, elephants, uh, all the weapons, everything were onboarded onto that particular ship. And he commanded all his 64,000 gods that pick it up, fly. All the gods were, had picked it up and were flying across the mighty ocean. At some point of time, you know, after they have been flying for quite a long while, they had a thought in their mind. One of them actually had a thought in their mind. I've been flying for so long, and I am tired a bit of carrying this particular weight. There are 63,999 others. What happens if I leave this particular vessel for a minute, stretch myself a bit, relax myself a bit, and carry on, uh, let other, I'll pick it up afterwards. As the fate would have it, all the 64,000 had the same thought at the same instant moment. And everyone did what they felt like. They left that particular vessel, and as the fate would have it, the vessel, vessel fell down into the ocean. The story doesn't end here, actually. In spite of falling that particular vessel, that vessel actually managed to float. And everybody was in a shock. How is this particular vessel fly? It's still able to float in this particular water. Then they did some research, and they said, well, there is somewhere Naukar Mantra written over here in this particular vessel. Some of one of those particular uh, uh, soldiers had got, actually got Naukar Mantra in it. So when they had this Naukar Mantra, this source line, so the king said, I don't believe in this. This is what? This is uh, in English parlance, excuse my language. It's nonsense. Get rub it off. And he rubbed it off, and it probably sank. Now the moral of stories, you know, I, the, the, the reason I wanted to conclude it is in two parts. All of us, you know, in our lives think that what if I don't do dharma, there are so many others who can do dharma. Yeah? 
what if i don't contribute there are so many others who can, who would contribute it does not matter uh, in in my fair view how much time you are able to give how much money you are able to give its bhav is what matters i said yesterday something about the bhav it's a different story it does not matter what you do and i think uh, somni ji in one of her discourses also said one more thing that you know we probably know that we are going towards destruction but we all do not realize the time probably does not help us in terms of the fact that we are all going towards destruction at some point of time it's been told when the jain dharma finishes this particular world will come to an end and it's just like that particular vessel story in the vessel where now karma mantra is written when the jain dharma is here the world is all saved i think if we all feel in the believe in the same particular thought process we can make this particular place while we are here for the aradhana for the sadhana for everyone's benefit a much better so i think you know we have pledge forms in the front uh, i wouldn't re- make a request for how much you need to contribute but whatever you feel like it you no know, we are blessed that even in spite of you know in the hindi the saying is anarya desh ya yeah? where there is no dharm even in spite of being in anarya desh we are so blessed that mahashravan ji you know mahapragya ji and the whoever has instituted this particular forum has allowed these particular nuns to come so which which means that even spite of being here we are able to get this particular knowledge and continuously get that particular knowledge and the children are benefiting i can see that uh, i i have said references to to yesterday i'll not repeat it again but please whatever you feel like contributing you're more than welcome uh, if i made if i have said anything inadvertently i ask you for mechavidhan no, oh, 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 oh,